Okay, we are here. Check this out. And I'm using the gimbal. Hopefully it doesn't act up. This is what I want to show you. I like this Bonneville. This thing is from like the 70s. My guess is that it's like a 70... Uh, what do you think this thing is? I think it's before 75. It's an early 70s. I'd say my guess is 71 or 72. I like these doorknobs with the push button. Whoops, sorry about that. The gimbal has its limitations. I got to be careful. But those doorknobs are so easy to use. You grab on, use your thumb. I wish they made those still because the new ones are a pain. They're so dumb. You got the Tesla ones you got to press in in order to open your door. It's pretty ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I can actually adjust this here. This is the interior. Look at how thick those seats are. They're so comfortable compared to today's the stuff they have now. Bonneville. There it is. I like those hubcaps. Those things are cool. They call a lot of people call them poverty caps, but they look nice. As long as, the only problem with those, if you hit a curb or you're driving aggressively, you hit something, the hubcap would go flying off. Oh, a little bit of wind. I hope that's not showing up on the camera. Massachusetts. 68 spring inspection. This might be older than I thought. Check out how simple the engine compartment is. A lot of room. You don't have all those wires and junk. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to try to figure out what this engine is here. It's a 400 Pontiac engine with... Um, there's a sticker. Whoop. No, nope, it's acting up. I got to be careful what I do. It's a 400 Pontiac engine. Right there is the sticker. They probably recreated the sticker. It has idle adjustment screws for the mixture. Adjust the solenoid screw for proper speed. With transmission in neutral, set fast idle to 2,500 RPM. That's a really high fast idle for a cold start. This actually has a real Pontiac engine. Um, it's equipped to control exhaust emission. Proper maintenance and adjustments are essential. Um, most of the later engines, they start putting in all kinds of different makes, like an Oldsmobile and a Pontiac. This one has the actual Pontiac engine. I'm going to try to f tell you what year it is. It is a 1968. I was wrong on the year. I like that green color. That's like a... Even though this is in the, in the 60s, it's actually kind of a 70s kind of color. That dark green. Let's see what they let's see what the dashboard looks like. Oh, the guy put a vintage radio in there too. Check that out. There's the dashboard. I like those pedals that are all outlined with metal. That's pretty cool. Look at the radio in the back seat. Mm. Old school radio. Oh, that's the temperature. Look at that temperature dial. That thing's cool. It 
has like um, a bar graph for the temperature. Some of the cars are leaving the show because it's getting um, I should go and film. We should check this out where the car as the cars leave the show. It's a blazer. This has the Chevy 350 standard engine. Pretty generic engine at the time. Oh wow, there's an Oldsmobile there. Yeah, I should go up here and take a look. I wish I had filmed that Oldsmobile. Let's see what's coming up here. Camaro. We'll see what kind of food they have here. Get a snack maybe. Yeah, look at the lines of that thing. That's the one I was filming. The Bonneville. That's a comfortable car. They don't really make stuff like that anymore. You gotta get an SUV if you wanna get a big car. It's not really good. Here's this thing, it's like a, a resto mod. That Dodge Brothers, you see the original. Let's see if I can do this, guys. Where am I going here? No, it's freaking out. The original logo on that steering wheel, Dodge Brothers. It's pretty cool, huh? Bronco, here's the original. You got these Broncos now? This is the original that inspired it. Oh, this one they put a 5.0. It's a 1969 Ford Bronco. That's what it looked like in 69. They upgrade the headlights. Those aren't the original. 5.0 liter Mustang engine in it. Here's, a, here's another Bronco that's more original. This one has Bronco. It actually, the I don't know if that's the original valve cover or it's the aftermarket. It says Bronco powered by Ford. Whoop. Right there, it says Bronco powered by Ford. All aluminum. That must be hard to keep that all clean and polished. And I, they put in that brake booster. This one has, um, they put it at an angle so they could fit that um, vacuum booster. This one over here, they actually have a hydraulic brake system in it. That's what I have in my Mustang, that same thing. It's got a compressed, that cylinder is under high pressure. It has nitrogen and it uses power steering um, pump. It uses hydraulics for the... Uh, Oh, what's they got? The 5.0? 5.0 in there. Bronco Sport. Here's the new Bronco. There's the new one. There's the original. I'm not really about putting, like, brand new engines, like 5.0 liter from a... Mustang or whatever into a Bronco. That's not what I'm really about. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Let's see what else we got here. Toyota Land Cruiser. Vintage truck. Safari snorkeled. 
I had a friend in high school that actually had one of these Toyota Land Cruisers just like this. He had it painted yellow. But um, the hood, his hood was like 90% Bondo. He had it repainted. The guys actually put two prop rods up. They're like, your hood's gonna fall apart. The original ones, these things rusted. Someone's got an air horn. These things rusted like a banshee. The original ones. These things, if, if they're in good shape, they're probably either, this might be a newer version of it that they make. But they definitely, the rust was a big issue on those cars, on those trucks. Let's see what else we got here. Got some souvenir shirts. What else we got? Racetrack. Might pick up some stuff. After I get done filming. Some models. Who's doing that? Oh, that car over there. Mosquito spray. This is like the vending area. I gotta find some cars. Be like, oh, I went to the car show and I just saw um, a bunch of uh, what do they call those Zeppelis? They cook those things up. I just got I got a hot dog and Zeppelis, and uh, I waited in line for an hour. It's got a premium cigar there. Okay, here's a vintage Mustang here. My I my friends actually had this kind of Mustang. This was the one Vanilla Ice rode in with his video. Rolling in my 5.0. It has a 5 liter um, engine. A traditional V8. It's not, it's not overhead cam. It has a 5 liter engine in it. These engines were extremely smooth. They didn't make as much power as a modern day, but it had plenty of power. I'm actually going to send this video over to my friend. When I get this up, I'll send him the link. Oh, this one's an automatic. He had a manual transmission. The five-speed would come in here. But this one's in mint condition. It's fitted out really nicely with that, that Sony screen in there. It looks factory. Originally, I had like a dual deck with the Ford radio. And it had like a cassette deck, maybe, if I'm not mistaken, at the bottom. Yeah, that's really nice. Look at that. Mustang GT. This is exactly what my friend had. Same rims. This was, this was the new style Mustang back in the day. This came out... It was like smoother looking than the one from the 80s. Well, it came out in the late 80s. The GT and the exhaust exits. What they did is they tucked the exhaust underneath here. It was real classic. You had your two, your exhausts were like hidden, but it had dual exhaust. And uh, this was like the, the, back in the day, this was the style to get. This was the brand new style. It had that hood, was aerodynamic, you know, it went down there. The older ones had like a grill. That's a nice car. Lincoln Continental. Wow, look at those hubcaps. And he's got, he's got like the original white wall type, the style. Look at all that chrome in there. That's really cool. I like the pedals. It's a 1964 Lincoln. Check that hubcap. Whoop. I did it. Hubcap with white wall tire. Let's see if I can see that hubcap. There you go. All right, let's see what they got. Oh, this guy's got a radio control. A radio control Bronco. That's pretty cool. Oh, 
Oh, this is a really cool Ford Must. Oh my gosh, I hear a diesel. Oh, I think it's that Hummer. This is the real one right here. Check this out, this Mustang. Here you go. Wow, that's beautiful. It is a 1973 Ford Mustang. That is some some Mustang. I like that. I like the style of that. The one that's like bigger. I'm not really a big fan. A lot of people like the 60s Mustang. Like 65 Mustang. I'm not really a big fan of that. It's too small for me. Or too, too like too dinky looking. I like this one. I think this one is so cool. The style of it. It's got the big hood, the big, bigger engine, you know. The hood, these hood hold downs like a race car. Look at that thing. That is really cool. I like the rims. It's pretty nice. There's still quite a few cars here, actually. Oh, I like that rat rod Chevy pickup I see over there. Here's some more modern day Mustangs. And somewhere around here, somewhere around these parts, I supposedly have a girlfriend who's she went to get a snack I should have stayed I was supposed to stay over there but I got distracted and she might find me eventually I should try to find her wow look at that Ford V8 that thing's pretty cool F100 this is a 1956 Ford that is a cool truck. That's really, it looks a lot older than 56, just with the, the style, the box. You got the box in the back. Here's a Pontiac 8. This might have had a straight 8 in it. It's a 1951. Totally different style than what you would see today. This is pretty insane. It's amazing how each era, you can kind of look at it and be like, okay, that looks like it's from the 50s. All right, that looks like it's from the 70s. That looks like it's from the 80s. It's amazing how the styling, like you can kind of like pick up on it. Oh, there's my girlfriend. I see her. Hey, baby. Oh, I'm. you like three times. I my phone is filming. I'm filming. What did we get here? We got fries, a dog. Nice. I waited a while for them though. That looks good. That looks good. Do you want a bite? I'll Mmm. I got distracted. You know me with cars. I was looking. You said you were going to be over there, and then I couldn't find I got distracted. I started walking over this I'm way. Well, I'm I not would, that far. Well, look in the middle. There's a whole bunch of cool cars in mm. the middle. Let me have a bite of the store. <gasps> There's oh. something on your hand. Yeah, you know what? There's This bug loves me. This is my dog right here. Did you put mustard on it? No, but they do have mustard. Can you put some mustard on it? Just in one spot where I bite it. My hands are full. Yeah, this little bug keeps here. landing on my hand when I'm trying to do my video. You believe that? Oh, that's great. I put some more. I love that brown mustard. Load it up. That's good. More. Yeah, baby. Do you want mustard? No. Put the whole packet on. It's baby. Just take a bite. Gotta, gotta have some. Over. Gotta have some flavor. Gotta have some flavor. 
Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That's a good hot dog. It's a steak. It's from a steak truck. Nice. So it's like a premium hot dog. I paid 15 bucks for all this. I almost feel like I went to the stadium. I hate the way that the prices have gone up so much. Like, you go to a show or something. Look at that guy. The Michelin man. <laughs> That's who that is. Oh, te llamé from my pocket probably. I bought the audio. one of these fries. Oh, these guys are starting the Mustang. Let's go over by this Mustang. I butt dialed my mom. Oh, no. And then I wasn't seeing anything, and she's like, what's wrong? And I was like, oh, I was looking for Dan. I couldn't find him. They started this one up. That's got like open exhaust. Mm. I take a fry. Yeah, there's a whole bunch. I would put mustard on those fries. Here. Mm. Mustard right there. <laughs> Let's look at these cars for a minute. They're gonna, they're gonna drive out. And then we take break and have some of these fries here with mustard on them. All these guys are ready to leave. These three guys here. Here, another bite. There's some mustard on them. These guys are notorious street racers. They've been arrested 10 times. Oh wow, check that truck out. Oh, there goes the rat rod. Lincoln Town Car, driving around back there. We'll go see these middle cars here. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah, check this out. I'm gonna swing it around fast. GTO. Oh, oh, here they go, here they go. Cool, I'm gonna film that next. Maybe I'll get some lemonade. But I needed a free hand. They have cigars over there. Oh, wow. Hand, a hand rolled cigar. Look at that V8. Pontiac. Factory new. Factory new. That looks very nice. It's got the... Looks like the automatic shifter on the column. Look at that paint. It's got the wing on it. The bumper on these cars. It's amazing how it goes. Your lights are in the bumper. Pretty nice ride. Here we have uh, Mopar. The Mopar's answer to the muscle car era. 
the Hemi Cuda shaker hood. Look at that. That's not my camera making that blurry. That is the sticker. It's designed, it plays with your eyes. Look at this sticker. This thing plays with your eyes. Wow, look at that thing. Whoop, sorry about that, my camera. My um, stabilizer is very finicky. I gotta make sure it doesn't misbehave. Oh wow, there's a rat rod over there. Mm. What is that little thing that doesn't really have, doesn't look like it drives? That's a rat rod. Let's check that out. I think he's starting it up. Oh, it's a vintage Mercedes style car there. Check this out. They call it a rat rod. Yeah. Yeah, it drives. Look how low to the ground that is. Now, I don't know if they raise it up at all when they drive it. Nah, they might not. They let it scrape. Oh, he's actually got a Ford engine in here. Wow, that's different. Most of these guys put a... They always are putting a, um, a Chevrolet in here. Oh, yeah, check the hood ornament. Pretty cool. And Why it, did he bring it in the park? They scrape it. They let it scrape if they need to. No, you know what? You know what? It has airbags. Airbag suspension. I think. Is that some type of a hydraulic? Well, no, it pumps up with air when they drive it. They can um they can raise it up. But yeah, the exhaust, it just goes straight out here. No, it has no muffler. It goes straight out the thing. Straight out. He even put, the guy even put a skylight in the roof. That's pretty cool. Look at that. It's very tight in there. It's like a go-kart. There's only two seats. N 1929. This thing is so low to the ground. Look at that thing. What side? Yeah, that's the fuel port. Trust the rust. Wow, look at that thing. That's low. That's low to the ground. Yeah, there's. It must be a type of bug they have here at the ocean. There was one on my car. One was on my car before. Let's see this black convertible. That's uh, it's actually running. Look at this thing, Mercedes. Yeah, this is actually a Mercedes, supposedly supposed to be a Mercedes. I don't know what it has in it. A six cylinder maybe? If it has the original engine in it. Yeah, that's from like probably from the 30s. There we go. Everyone's looking at the Mercedes. We're gonna go around here and film the front of it. Hold on. Here we go. It's shaking a bit though. The bumper's like, look at the bumper. It's moving around. Mercedes.
That's something you don't see every day. Oh yeah. That truck, that yellow gold truck, that's something, huh? With the window pops open. Oh wow. A very small view. Yeah. Oh wow. I think I see a tucker. That is an extremely rare find. I'll show you. That green car right here. It's had a tucker. It might be. It, it has the engine in the back. The tucker. Here's the bends. Here's the bends. There goes the bends. Look at this. Oh yeah, he scrunched. He scrunched in there. It's the price you pay for doing it. It's called a chop. They cut the, um, yeah, they cut it. They cut the, the top of the car and they lower it down and 